Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, Boy Vertus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be working with the inventory and showing you how to display different icons inside of your inventory bag when you pick up an item because at the moment we just have the sort of empty bag icons at the moment and they do not change. So what we're going to be doing is introducing a couple of inventory items that I have set up for you guys, getting them into the engine and getting those little images to change based on the item in each of the inventory slots. So what I do recommend is you go ahead and download the latest version of the RPG assets as was as within there I've now created a folder with some inventory icons There's three of them in there one for a key one for a box and then one for some logs as well You guys are completely free to create your own icons add additional items and that kind of stuff It is entirely up to you so Let's go ahead and get these imported into the engine. So what I'm going to do is in my content browser, open up my HUD assets folder, and then I'm going to right click and create a new folder in here with the name inventory items. And I'm just making this folder just to make it a little bit easier to find all of these items. Now, if you have a big game, you are going to have lots and lots of different types of items, and you don't want that mixed with your normal HUD assets. Once you've made that folder, grab all three of these, click, drag and drop those into your, into your content browser and that will import them into the engine. Cool, so now that we've done this, we can actually start using them in our game. And the way that we're going to tell each of these slots to change based on the inventory item is by working with the slots that we've created in our game mode already and those are going to be as variables and then with this what we need to do then is we need to tell the inventory which is this blueprint widget that we've created already to change the brush image when we switch an integer. Now those variables that we've created for each of the slots are integers and that can go from anywhere from 0 to 52. You know you're going to have a different item number for each different type of item and what I mean by that is 0 is going to be empty 1 is going to be your door key, 2 is going to be your loot box, and 3 is going to be your wood logs, and you're going to need to remember these numbers. So the way that we're going to set this up is by clicking on the first slot. Now we have a total of 8 slots, and then with this first slot, we are going to create a binding in the details panel underneath the appearance. And what this binding is going to allow us to do is create a function that will return some binding data for that property which is essentially going to allow us to change the image really really easily automatically so we don't have to call any code to do that. So with this brush create binding and then with this what we need to do is first things first we need to cast to the third person game mode so that we can actually communicate with those variables we created earlier. For the object wildcard, that needs to be get game mode, as that is what we're trying to communicate with. As the third person game mode, because we're working with the first slot here, what we need to do is simply get inventory item 1. So this is the variable which is going to contain any number based on the uh, item ID that we've got in there, is with this we need to switch on int. And this switch on int node is going to allow us to switch the image essentially based on the integer selected in the inventory item 1. Now this is probably all sounding a little bit complicated but as it does come together you're going to start to understand this a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is hook up my cast a third person game mode to this switch on int and then I'm going to add a couple of pins, 0, 1, 2, and 3, because at the moment we've got 3 items, and then 0 is going to be empty. And then what we're also going to do is have 4 return nodes, just like this, and we're just going to space them out a little bit, and we're going to have one for each of a different item. So 0 is going to go to the first one, but with this, what we need to do 
is set the image to the bag empty icon and the way we're going to do this is by drag out the return value and type in texture and the way that we're the thing we're looking for is make brush from texture now with this what i can do is i can define a texture which is going to be um, our bag icon and then just leave the width and the height as it is and it's going to automatically adjust that and then if i do the same thing with these if i make some more space move them down just copy and paste this four times we need four of these and just chuck it in here just like that and what i'm going to do is just change the texture for each one of these so hook up our return node just like that same goes with this one the two it's going to return that number three is going to return that and then let's just change these so instead of being the bag icon we need to set this to the different items here so what i'm going to do is just make this window a little bit smaller zoom in and then in the content browser select each of my different icons so number one which is this one here is going to be the key sorry it's not that one it is this one is going to be the key moving down number two is going to be the loot box so i'm going to select that in the content browser and then hook it up to there here so press the little arrow to press use asset browser selection and number three lastly is going to be the wood and you're just hooking it up to the return value just like this so if we go ahead and compile this now and then press play open up any one of our characters it should uh, it should give you a little icon and this icon is going to be based on the variable inside of that slot so at the moment it's showing the key so what i'm going to do is open up my third person game mode go to inventory item one and you can see at the moment that is set to zero which should be the empty bag so what i've got to do is quickly open up my inventory and just make sure i've made no mistakes so the first one I've accidentally set this to the door key it should just be bag icon hit compile hit play open this up and you can see it's gone to the empty slot but the thing that you do know is that if you go ahead and open up your third person game mode change this slot to any number and then compile and then just go into the game and press P, uh, B it's going to change the icon so our slot based inventory system is working so what we need to do from here is essentially just go and set up a system for checking whether or not a slot is empty and then filling it when you pick up an item. Now one thing that we do need to do is within our inventory we need to do what we just did with this to all eight of the slots and the easiest and the quickest way to do all of this is what I'm going to do is move this aside and then select everything I've got, control C to copy it, and then go into the design view. I am just going to create a binding for the second one, delete that, paste it in, and then hook it up like this. And the only thing that we're changing is the inventory slot over here. So instead of inventory item one, it's inventory item two. So inventory item two, just like that and hook it up to the switch on int and essentially we just need to go through and do that eight times on each of those slots and that will work with the four items now what I do recommend is that you add every single item into your game that you're gonna need in the first slot have that working before you move it into all eight slots as you are just going to have to keep changing things and it's really going to slow you down a little bit so what i'm going to do is i'm not going to sit here and go through each of these slots it's pretty straightforward once you figure out how to do it you will be able to do that yourself so having said that i am going to end the video here i hope you guys have enjoyed it and in the next video we are going to be getting deeper into our inventory system so once again guys thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating your boy vertus signing out
This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.